The recent investments fuel hope of greater stability in a Western Pacific for centuries adrift, in a sea of economic ups and downs, and geopolitics outside its control. A region now on the cusp of a multi-billion dollar military buildup that promises jobs and opportunity. Case in point, $40 billion, 152-year-old Japan conglomerate Itochu Corporation has just purchased a 25% stake in Guam-based shell franchisee Isla Petroleum and Energy. The acquisition brings a depth that can help ip &E weather volatile energy markets and a reach that could propel the company into job-creating ventures from the Philippines to Hawaii. And uh, what this deal really did for us is that, you know, since they are a very big trading company, I feel a lot more comfortable that no matter what happens, we will be able to weather the storm. Right. And I think that, you know, what prompted me to work on this thing right away was precisely that. This is a volatile energy market, and if you're stuck with too much oil and the price crashes, you could really lose your shirt. Yes. And uh, these guys are very good at hedging, um, hedging prices. So I think from a, from a long-term perspective for Guam and Saipan, uh, the fact that we have a partner like this is good because at least it keeps us always in business. Well, on the region's finance front, this week's Mariana's Business Journal reports that Federated States of Micronesia President Emmanuel Mori just led a delegation to Tokyo in search of corporate investors for the FSM's fledgling but promising captive insurance concern. Six Japan companies already placing their bets on the tiny island nation's upstart risk management enterprise. Also on Japan's finance agenda, Guam's buildup. Yomiuri Shimbun reports that Deputy Defense Minister Jun Azumi is recommending that Japan dedicate part of its FY11 budget to finance sewage treatment upgrades in northern Guam before U.S. Marines are restationed here from Okinawa.